Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the Free iTunes Podcast, Psychiatry Secrets Reveal with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. Of course, it's because it's a Saving Savvy episode. And today I'm going to answer the very important psychiatric question, is it okay as a photographer to have a split personality? And since I have one, I'm going to say it's okay. So what do I mean by that? By the way, you're probably hearing the washing machine in the laundry room next door. I apologize. So what do I what do I mean by that? Well, you probably know that in August of this year, if you see any of my if you've seen any of my other episodes, that I was lusting after a Nikon D850, and I was agonizing over it because I certainly didn't need it, and it was way beyond my capabilities, and I already had good cameras, and you know, Nikon D850. And I will say that this is a super awesome, great camera. It is cutting edge on many, many levels. I am so happy to have it. So what did I do about oh, three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago? I went out and I bought a Canon camera that retails or retailed for about $3,300. And it has 5D in it. Can you guess which one it is? Is it a... 5D Mark IV? No! Actually, I got it for about 300 bucks on eBay. It's an original 5D. So this camera came out in 2005. It was the first of the 5D series, hence no Mark anything, I guess Mark I. Um, and I just love playing with toys. I just love playing with different cameras and see how they function and fooling around with them. And I just wanted to play with this one. and. It's been an absolute joy. So this came out in 2005. This is 2015. You would think that this is prehistoric technology that you would throw in the garbage, but it isn't at all. In fact, I think in many situations, you could use this camera professionally today. Now, what does it not have? Well, the body is very sturdy, but it feels like it's plastic. It's certainly not weather sealed. Maybe it's got metal in it, but it's really not weather sealed. It has a 12.8 megapixel image. I think that's more than enough uh, for the vast majority of things that you would do even as a professional, but um, some people might want more. I think it's great. It has nine autofocus points. That's more than enough. And for most situations, of course, maybe not for tracking action things or wildlife or whatever, but it works. they work pretty well. It also has six hidden uh, autofocus points that it uses for continuous tracking. So it has uh, less autofocus points than what you normally would see, but it has plenty. Um, it has a very tiny little display, a massive 230,000 dots, which is, of course, they come like, you know, usually a typical display now is over 900,000 or over a million dots. This is 230,000. It shows the display is not going to win any awards, I'll tell you that. Um, it also has three frames per second. Not bad, but not anything like what we would see today. But you can capture a little action, maybe your kid's soccer game with something like this, I think, just fine. Um, it has the LCD on top, and it has a standard control layout. Now, I will tell you that I spent about a day looking in the menus for the auto ISO function because I always use auto ISO. Then I discovered there is no auto ISO function. And speaking of ISO, this ISO goes up to a massive 1600 natively and 3200 pushing it, uh, boosting it. And surprisingly, with those levels, I can certainly take shots using this little pancake lens, 2.8 uh, f 2.8 lens indoors without any problem um, so just with natural light in my house I can take pictures and certainly I can take them outside with with that with that uh, ISO and the 3200 as a boost doesn't look too bad and I would actually use that for certain sorts of things maybe not professional work but certainly other things so this is not going to be something that you're going to take into a nightclub uh, that's pitch black but it's going to work in a lot of situations just fine. So I really have had a blast using this camera. What's the biggest deficit that I see in it? Well, I think the biggest deficit is the uh, dynamic range, which is not as good as what you would see in a Sony or a Nikon camera. A lot of Nikon cameras use Sony sensors. And with those sensors, even with a JPEG image, I can bring in highlights and bring up shadows, uh, even with a JPEG, pretty well. So that's why I almost always shoot with JPEGs. 
With this camera, not so much. And so if I was in a situation that had a high dynamic range, you know, a very bright white sky with um, dark below or something, I definitely would probably shoot in RAW um, to try to get as much of the dynamic range as I could. I know that's heresy for me, Mr. JPEG, but I probably would in those situations. But even in, like most other situations, um, I would not. In fact, I'm going to show you some pictures um, that I took. They are taken as JPEGs. Um, these are not award winners. This was just kind of tech to check out the camera and to see how it works. And and I absolutely did edit these because these are real pictures that I would actually, you know, I, I was playing around with. And let's face it, if you are taking pictures, you are going to, and if you're, if you're a real photographer, most likely you are going to edit them if you're not just some point and shoot iPhone person, right? So that's what I did. Um, and so that's what you're going to see. Some of them will be in sepia, some of them will be in black and white. But just to show you that that this this old girl here, this, 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 uh, this ancient ancient piece of archaeological find dig find or whatever still has a few bells and whistles a few a few notes to sing it still functions pretty well and if you're actually interested in, in fooling around with the full frame camera i mean you can pick these up so cheap and they seem to be so durable and you know you don't have to get like the most uber deluxe lens on it um and you can buy and certainly there's tons of, of old canon lenses around too that are pretty cheap um have some fun. Get that. You know the the the, the great feat, the great benefit of these full frame sensors is they give you a wide wider uh, field of view. I'm sorry, my focus is just going a little nuts on me. Um, a wider field of view, and what that basically is going to do is let you to use a longer focal length, which will give you even a little bit greater bokeh. So uh, you can have fun doing that and. Pictures are beautiful out of these cameras. It's interesting when you talk about these around 12 megapixel full frame cameras, people will often say that they like the portraits out of them better than out of a lot of cameras, that there's something special about them. You see this, they say that with this 5D, they also say it with the Nikon D700. And I think that is because although you can get plenty of information out of 12 megapixels, it's not going to be that agonizing sharpness that you get out of a 40 or 50 megapixel camera. You know, that almost seems over sharp. And when things are not over sharp, I think our brains fill in the rest and our brains know that it's a face, and they know that the coloration is right, and we fill in the rest, and in our brains, we convert that into this looks more natural to us. So that's just my opinion, but a lot of times people will say that the portraits from these cameras really hold up very, very, very well. And again, I keep on seeing myself go in and out of focus, in and out of focus. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what the deal is. But, uh, so let me show you some pictures, but first let me say if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up. I would really like it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you don't like it, it's okay to give me a thumbs down. Um, it's okay to write any kind of comment that you want as long as it's not like a um, asinine comment from a person who should be 12 years old. If you have those comments, please don't embarrass yourselves with them. Um, but anything else is, is fair game. So anyways, have a great, I, I will wave goodbye now because I'm going to show you those pictures. So you have a great day and here's just some pictures doctored up in a photo editor but taken with an ancient Mark, well, Canon 5D Mark zero or one. Anyways, a really old camera that's really cool. Bye-bye.